The cell looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? It is quite similar to the eukaryotic cell, except there seems to be a very large vacuole in the center. It looks like we're surrounded by a wall, and there appear to be some new organelles around us. We're currently inside a eukaryotic plant cell. Let's look at the things that make a eukaryotic plant cell different from a eukaryotic animal cell. The most notable difference is this large vacuole in the center of the cell. Eukaryotic animal cells also have a few small vacuoles, but none as big as this. The vacuole is filled with water and is bound by a semi-permeable membrane known as the tonoplast. The liquid-filled vacuole maintains the cell's turgidity. This means that it exerts a pressure that keeps the cell's plasma membrane pushed up against the cell wall. The vacuole also controls the movement of molecules, stores lots of useful material, and digests waste proteins and organelles in the cell. A eukaryotic plant cell also has a cell wall. The cell wall is made of cellulose, hemicellulose, pectin, and lignin. The cell wall provides shape to the cell and thereby helps form the plant's tissues and organs. Finally, we come to the new organelles in the cell, plastids. Plastids are double membrane-bound organelles found in the plant cell. Some of them contain chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a green-colored pigment that carries out photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process in which the chlorophyll absorbs sunlight and makes food for the plant. Some other types of plastids are amyloplasts, which store starch, elioplasts, which store fat, and chromoplasts, which synthesize and store pigments. We can see that the plant cell has a few more structures making it special. This is just an introduction to all the cool parts that make up the cell. There's so much more to learn.